Hi everyone, I am Dr. Saundara Raj. I am very happy to interact with you all through this video. I am very in the Kanuli la ratio analysis up into chapter in the sum park of oro in the sum la or null ratios number calculate punu. See, we will be calculating four important ratios from the given information in the problem. That is the task we have taken it up. Let us get into the details of the problem. We are given with the traditional format of profit and loss account of a business enterprise. We find the debit side items like opening stock, purchase, wages, carriage inward, salaries, debenture interest paid, loss on sale of machinery, then net profit. If you look at the credit side, we find the items like sales, closing stock, profit on sale of investment, then interest on investment. These items are credited in the profit and loss account. So from the details given in the profit and loss account, we are asked to calculate GP ratio, operating ratio, stock turnover ratio and earning per share. The profit and loss account details of the four ratios are the ratio, gross profit ratio, operating ratio, stock turnover ratio, then earning per share. In the four ratios calculate the four See, before we make an attempt to calculate the four ratios, it is good to restructure the details in such a way that will facilitate effective calculation of the four ratios. In the null ratios, in contributing the Kabunadi, Kuruturkara details, Nama Vasadikit and the Mari, and the rearrange Panikitumna, and the null ratios contributing the remember, easy aha irkum. Let us look at the way by which I have rearranged the data or the information given in the problem. Now, I have taken sales first. It is amounted 4 lakh rupees. From the sales, I have subtracted cost of goods sold. What is that? How to calculate cost of goods sold? Cost of goods sold could be calculated with the support of a formula, which is a very, very popular formula. That is nothing but... Opening stock plus purchase plus carriage inwards plus wages plus direct expenses minus closing stock. Here whatever available in the problem that could be chosen and applied in the formula to calculate cost of goods sold. Now opening stock it's given in the problem it is amounted 20,000. Purchases given in the problem so add purchases 2,40,000 plus wages given in the problem 60,000 plus carriage inwards 10,000 rupees minus closing stock. There is no direct expenses given in the problem. So therefore, we have directly gone to deduct the closing stock 30,000. The resultant figure of this particular calculation comes to 3 lakh. From sales 4 lakh, if you subtract cost of goods sold 3 lakh, you get the balance of 1 lakh rupees, which is nothing but gross profit. So sales virpanai tohai ilayirundi and the cost of goods sold Vitra Porulgal Node cast other Kandubudichi, other every Kandubudigir, opening stock order, purchase a Kudigir, purchase order, wages, carriage inwards in the Nali Kuti, the Nalu Patina, debit side, profit trading a Kundu, debit sale over. Other than recollect Punigan. Easy, now what you get the Puyo Chicano, trading account debit sale, yen itangal number papa, opening stock, purchase, carriage inwards. Wages, direct expenses here in the poor of putting him. Credit sale here, closing stock, Kalikan. Kalicha on a Kanakajra, cast of goods sold. This is the easiest way to understand this formula. You understand, right? Up to Kandubucha, the end of the three lakh rupees cost of goods sold. Up for sales, learn the cost of goods sold a Kalichi, grass profit, one lakh Kandubucha. Now let us continue from grass profit. What is it we do from grass profit? Let us subtract the operating expenses. And the NNS sellable, the main operation of the business is the operating expenditure. And the expenses are the same. And the Kalicha is the same. Gross profit is the operating expenses. We have the operating profit. This is the stage. So let us subtract the operating expenses which are directly connected with the main operation of the business. Right? So that we come to know operating profit. Now, what is operating expenses? Over here in this problem, we find only one item of operating expenditure that is nothing but salary. If you look at other items like debenture interest, loss and sale of machinery, they are non-operating 
expenses or losses therefore we will pick up only the one particular item which is nothing but salary and record it here it comes to 40000 rupees if you subtract the operating expenditure named salary in this problem from the gross profit we come to know the balance 60000 rupees which is nothing but operating profit now from operating profit let us continue to detect non operating expenses and losses as i said in this problem the two items debenture interest and loss on sale of machinery are non operating expenses and losses they could be recorded and detected see debenture interest comes to 10000 rupees given in the problem loss on sale of machinery 5000 the total comes to 15000 if you subtract 15000 rupees from operating profit of 60000 you get the balance of 45000 rupees so operating profit entilirundi non operating expenses losses apdigra item la nama detect pannamna enna kadaikku namakku uh, we get the balance of 45,000 rupees. In the non-operating expenses and losses, I will tell you, debenture interest, currently to patrangal mail, we will sell it to you. Then, Nasto, machinery, we will get the balance of Nasto. In the two non-operating expenses and losses, that is the total of 15,000. That is the operating profit of 60,000. What is the value of 60,000? Then, let us continue. Right. Let us add non-operating income. I keep on saying in all my videos that sales is the only operating income for a business, for a manufacturing and selling business. Whereas for service business, service is the only operating income. All other incomes are non-operating incomes. This is a simple point to be understood. So over here, non-operating incomes are nothing but profit on sale of investment. Over here it's given. So by profit on sale of investment, by interest on investment, these two items are non-operating incomes and they are recorded here. The total of these two non-operating incomes comes to 10,000 rupees with 45,000. If you add 10,000 rupees non-operating incomes, you get the total of 55,000, which is nothing but net profit. Now let us do the calculation of the ratios. Gross profit ratio, the formula is gross profit divided by net sales into 100. Right. Gross profit, we have already calculated in the solution. It comes to 1 lakh rupees divided by net sales. Here sale is nothing but net sale because there is no sales written. So, in the virpanayum, nikara virpanayum, ondruda. Yena virpanay thirupam. Illa. Virpanay thirupam abdingara or vishya. Sales written in illa. Here in this problem, sales is nothing but net sales because there is no sales written. That's what we have understood. So, now 1 lakh gross profit divided by net sales 4 lakh into 100 it gives us a percentage of 25 percent so 25 percentage of sales is gross profit that is what we understand from gp ratio now next one operating ratio the formula cost of goods sold plus other operating expenses the whole divided by net sales into 100 Cost of goods sold comes to 3 lakh rupees, that is what we calculated already, plus other operating expenses, it is amounted 40,000. So, 3 lakh plus 40,000, the whole divided by 4 lakh rupees into 100, it gives us the answer of 85%. So, operating ratio is nothing but 85%. Stock turnover ratio. The formula for calculating stock turnover ratio is nothing but cost of goods sold divided by average stock. The answer will come in terms of times. This is not a profitability ratio, this is a turnover ratio. Fine, cost of goods sold was calculated here, it is amounted how much? 3 lakh rupees divided by average stock. We need to calculate average stock here. Average stock could be computed with the formula of uh, opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2. How do you average stock? Average stock is the formula. What is opening stock and closing stock? That is the average stock. So over here, the opening stock is amounted 
20,000 rupees and closing stock is amounted 30,000. So 20,000 plus 30,000 divided by 2, it gives us 25,000 rupees. That is what average stock. Now let us apply the data in the formula for stock turnover ratio. Cost of goods sold 3 lakh divided by average stock 25,000. The answer is 12 times. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of this 12 times? Please understand. See, the turnover of the business enterprise in this given period is of 12 times of its average stock. In the Nirvanathunudaya, average stock nudaya amount to marit panirand madang kuda anadha enadhe adhan nudaya virpanai. Adhan nudaya virpanai na enna virpanai nudaya adakka vilai. Cost of goods sold. So, the relationship between cost of goods sold and average stock is nothing but 12 times. That is what we have come to know. It means 12 times of average stock is the value of cost of goods sold of the business enterprise in the given period. This is what you have to understand. Then yearning per share. What is the meaning of yearning per share? Over pangum yevalabu labam sambayichirukku. What is a yearning? Every share makes. Every share. Here they normally refer equity share. They don't refer preference share. Because preference share is always related with the fixed percentage of dividend. Therefore, we don't uh, normally calculate yearning per share for a preference share. It is not required. So, so here, yearning per share is always related to equity share. What is the formula for calculating yearning per equity share? Yearnings available for equity shares. What is the other name for yearnings available for equity shares? Profit after interest, tax and preference dividend. After you pay interest, you come to know profit before tax. Then from profit before tax, you calculate tax and pay the tax. After you pay tax, it is called profit after tax or yearning after tax. From yearning after tax, you pay the preference dividend. The balance of the profit is available for equity shareholders. Labam kandu pidikiradhukku kadeshi stage illa nam enna pannano vatti kudukum. Yedadu vatti and the niruvanam kodukku vendi idhi irundhudhu na adhudha kadeshi selavu namme varuvai illa irundhu kalichi enna kandu pidipom? Labadha kandu pidipom. And the labadhukku peru enna na tax kattradhukku munnadi kedaccha lava. Vatti ya kudutthu peragu varra labadhukku peru enna profit after interest but before tax. Vattikki peragu but vari salithu vadarikku munbu irukkira lava. And the lava thil nama enna pannu no tax kandu kudutthu adha pay pannu no. Tax pay pannu peragu irukkira lava yaharikku first priority kudukku no preference shareholders ke adha dividend kudukku no adha kudukku no. And the lava thil nama profit after tax lana nama preference shareholders dividend kudutthu tam na ippa irukkira meedhi lava yaharikku mattu nama sondho equity shareholders than chondho. What is the other name for this numerator? Earning available for equity shareholders, which could be otherwise called as profit after interest and tax. After tax, after interest, interest is tax. So, after interest and tax and preference dividend divided by number of equity shares. So here, 55,000 rupees is a profit after interest and tax. In this problem, 55,000 net profit is nothing but the profit after interest, after tax and after preference dividend. In your preference dividend, illa, in your tax level on solala, solala padala, another zero, abdini assume money. Here in the other subtract bottom. In the net profit, lend the napon and the net profit can be given the Munadi perhaps enabonum na interest a culture. Interest a culture in the other end of our name profit after interest or before tax no. That is the tax. Tax 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 the tax. Tax is the tax. Tax the Profit available for equity holders. That is the same 55,000. So we take the 55,000 net profit as it is because we don't have any adjustments to do there. Divided by number of equity shares already given in the problem. It's nothing but see share capital. What is share capital? 20,000 equity shares of 10 rupees each. So, the number of equity shares available in this concern, it's nothing but 20,000. They have issued, the concern has issued 20,000 equity shares in the market. 
So, 55,000 divided by 20,000 shares, it gives us the answer of 2.75. Every equity share of this company earns 2 rupees and 75 pays profit. You understand? That is what earning per equity share. Over Pangum, Yevolavu, Labam, Sambadi Chirke, Abun Kandubrikar, that EPS. Are they pretty Kandubrikar? Equity shareholder Yirkara Labam. Divided by number of equity shares already issued by the company, other bottom line, and a Kadigamke, Rendruba, Yeluvatanju Pesa, Over Panguko, in the Nirubanam, Labam, Sambadi Chikurke, in the Rendruba, Yeluvatanju Pesa, La Yirundida, or a portion of dividend of Kurupanga. Me portion of reserve level You understand, right? So I hope I have done my explanation up to your level of satisfaction and understanding. Thanks for your time to watch this video. I'll meet you in another video. Bye for now, everyone.